Hello, everybody, and welcome to Airport Ground Handling Simulator here in VR. I was very excited to see this game come out on Steam uh, because I used to work on the ramp. I'm an ex-ramper. Uh, did it for many, many, many years. So we have pre-arrival checks, aircraft marshalling. Let's just jump into aircraft marshalling. That's what everybody wants to see anyway, right? Welcome to the aircraft. Welcome exam. to the airport march. Oh yeah, this is the exam. We're not right at the highlight. No messing spot. around. Oh, there's the airplane right there. Okay. Timely to any hazards. So we put our uh, wands up here like this identifies our gate we're standing at. And then we can uh, start the turn to the left. Kind of trying to show you how you do it. Um, I don't know what the FOV is going to be like here in VR for you. But for me, it looks amazing. This is so cool to do this. Uh, straight out again. There you go, buddy. Looking good. Wing walkers looking good. Start walking this way. Nobody's giving me any signals for anything bad out there. Airplane taking off in the distance. Looks like an A320 or something. All right. We get a perfect stop on this guy. Right there on the sea line is what we're looking for. There you go. Keep on coming straight, man. You are right on it. A little bit to the right. Straight. There we go. He responds very quickly. Oh, stop, 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 stop. What's our problem here, buddy? The exam is finished. Check your results Something happened over there. What was it? The exam or exit to the main menu and I mean, we passed it. It was good to go. We didn't get to stop him on the line, but uh, I, I'll show you another one. Aircraft okay, it is nighttime here at gate A13. Oh, uh, we got a little guy coming there. There's our airplane right there. Oh, Dat Mundo and Constellations. All right, there's our 787 Dreamliner coming in here. And we need to stop on line E, it looks like, out there. So he's a bigger airplane, so we'll turn him a little bit later this time. So there you go. He's already, he's like, I got this, bud. Don't worry. It's not my first day coming into a gate. Watching our wing walkers out there. No uh, obstructions. We have no, uh, there we go, straight in, buddy. No pushbacks or anything stupid out there, and they're not giving me any X's, so I'm going to bring them straight in like this. Keep on coming in, buddy. Oh, man, this is a workout, too. I'm feeling it. A little bit to the left. There you go. His right, my left. There we go. Let's stop him on this line. The only problem with this game is uh, sometimes getting that perfect X for the stop is pretty difficult to do. All right. Looking pretty good. A little bit to the left. There you go, straight, buddy, straight. Straighten it out and stop. That's perfect. That should be pretty good. Hey, 82%, we'll take it. Let's see what we do. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. 100%, 82. Uh, I'm happy with it. All right, so we're gonna do pre-arrival checks. Identify and mark all the issues on stand. Yes, Use it is. Use your pointer to work with the dashboard and with the objects around you. Yeah, we will. To open your dashboard. Oh, that's the bad. Laser pointer to your wrist gadget and yeah, press we gotta do the trigger. Get the menu open here. Here we go. The dashboard and open it again at a new location with the help of your wrist gadget. Yeah, we know. Once all required pre-arrival checks are completed. All right, I got one, two, exam, three, four, five cones. And as you can see on the here, we're supposed to have five pieces for the cones, six chalks. Uh, fire extinguisher, marshaling wands, etc., etc. We'll get all of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And fire extinguisher's good right there. Tow bars are right here. We're going to go out here and perform a FOD walk. That's bad right there. We're going to mark that and say, hey, that's supposed to be closed. The fuel cap, um, that's no good there. That's an issue. Let's go over this way and see what we got around here. And the ambience of being at the airport is pretty impressive i must say i really do like it that's a problem too that cannot be there um either come on there you go you got it that looks like a piece of fod over there uh for an object debris is what it's called so we would do a fod walk you walk all the way out here to the very edge of your gate uh or stand or whatever you want to call it and you're looking for any little pieces on the ground like we already see that one there we're going to get to that in a second i'll show you what it looks like we walk over here and uh, to the right this way. Yeah, when this game uh, was announced, I was pretty excited about it. Uh, you know, because who doesn't want to relive their days on the ramp? Yeah, see that little wheel right there? That is no good. We're going to pick that up. Um, also, you want to walk down the whole uh, line here to make sure there's nothing there. Because sometimes some FOD can, uh, can hide away from you. We already know that's bad. 
We're good on that. Sometimes they like to throw some uh, bolts and stuff here on the ground, so it's easy to mess. Yeah, see that one right there? Earplugs? It's no good. I can get sucked up into an engine. You'd be surprised. Is that a pencil? Yeah, that's no good. What's that doing out here? All right, I'm going to continue my little inspection here. Um, I think I see something out here, too. That's no good. That's good there. I don't see any other FOD right here. I see that big old chunk. Are you kidding me? Let's get maintenance out here for this. This is a joke. What kind of airport you guys run in here with this? Holy cow, dude. Could you even imagine hitting that while taxiing in? Regardless if you're a passenger or not for the pilots, that would be devastating to the nose gear. All right. Let's go over this way. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, I see a piece of paper over there. It might be a ULD tag or something. We'll see. Uh, ULD meaning unit load device. You know, it's funny in aviation and all that stuff. Yeah, that looks like a ULD tag. Um, there's a lot of acronyms. So if I say an acronym, I try to explain what it is for those that don't know it. All right, cool. I'm pretty happy with all of this. That tug is running, isn't it? I don't think you can have a running tug nearby. Uh, this game is a stickler for those things. Let's have a look here at a little menu. We're good on that. Marshalling wands. I didn't see any wands over here, did you? Do you see the wands? There's. We have no wands out here, dude. What's that all about? Wands are missing, dude. All right. Identify missing. Yeah, they would normally be sitting right here on the on the stairs, and they are not. Fire extinguisher is good. Megaphone. I don't see a megaphone out here. I, I, they want us to show what's missing. Okay. Check for required equipment only. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Wands are needed. Headset, we got one out here. Binoculars, don't care about it. Tape measure, don't care. Calculator, backpack, etc., etc. Everything's good. I, I say that that is done. Uh, that thing could be marked as an issue, but let's see if it's running. Sounds like it is. One of these old tugs, man. That looks so realistic. Like, ridiculously good. Look at the detail there. That's your parking brake little thing there in the center. And then with that uh, that lever there, you have to like push it and then push it forward. Like you push it outward and then forward. And then back. it has a little notch there. And these old, uh, the old starting, uh, <laughs> those starting uh, little switches there. That is so realistic. The attention to detail is so cool. Even the, the little tongue here and you pull that little hook up, you know, to attach to these. Although it doesn't look like it's attached to that. That's bad, right? Maybe that's the issue? Nah, I don't I don't think they care about it. We'll see. They might fail us if we uh, leave a tug running. I can't remember. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say that they're good to go. Let's see what they said. Yes, finish the exam. The exam hey, we got a 90%. What did we miss? What did we miss? Ladder left inside ERA. Training. Yep, we got that. Uh, pen. Yep, we got the ULD tag. Uh, fuel hydrant pit left to open. Tug engine's running. See, they always nail you for something like that. They always nail you for it. So we got close to it. You, you get you get the gist of doing uh, pre, uh, pre-inspection. pre Okay, back at gate A13 again. It is early morning fog, and there's our airplane. That's an ATR-72 turboprop airplane. We're going to give the signal out here. Look at our wing walkers. How's everything looking good out there? today wonderful there we go starting to turn i know you can probably see barely see it straight buddy although man he really overcompensated for that turn a little bit more this way straight again i keep forgetting to show you the wands what i'm doing all right they're walking forward no x's out there looking good we gotta stop him on line b a little bit more to his left straight yeah this pilot is drunk man look at this sway he's got i'm giving him straight down the center. The exam is finished. Check the what? results on the dashboard. You can restart the exam or exit to the main menu and repeat the training. Oh, he's got an engine on fire. Oh, you couldn't even see that if you tried. All right, we're going to try this one again, bringing him in. Is he going to have an engine on fire this time? Because we have to point at it and then do a swaying motion downward if it's on fire. There you go, straight. No X's out there on the wing walkers. No engine caught on fire on us this time. 
Looking good. Wonderful. There we go. He's not drunk this time either. Look at that. Good, good job on the uh, taxi, buddy. Oh, there he goes. He's getting off now. Straight, straight. There you go, straight. Now this way. No, he's drunk again. Straight. Jeez, you suck. All right, and stop. You missed it. What are you doing? That's on him. <laughs> okay, enough of the aircraft marshalling. Let's move on to GSE Connection, and we'll just jump straight into some exams. Welcome to Ground Power Welcome Unit Connection Operation power. Exam. Yes, Your thank you. Your task is to perform normal connecting and disconnecting okay. operations of the ground wow, power. Wow, look at the detail Let's here, man. Let's start with the connection. This is just, it's so incredible. Every time I see it, I'm almost like, dude, this is crazy. So um, real airlines use this uh, simulator as a tool uh, to teach their people before they go out there and work with the real airplanes. Now, let me tell you, I wish we had this back then. It would have helped so much with training, um, even though hands-on experience is the best uh, way you can go about it. So uh, when I worked on the ramp, I worked with cargo airplanes, not passengers. So I had to learn all of this stuff uh, in training with the sim. Um, so let's see if we can pass an exam here. Uh, let's come over here to this guy. Actually, before we do that, we need to come over here to the panel. And we'll stand about right here. And here's the panel. Open it up and check out the detail in that. You can even see uh, the numbers on there. It's it's that detailed. Uh, and look here at this guy. Make sure he's not bad. Yep, that's all good. No damage on any of that. So that's good there. Let's come over here to the panel and uh, the power. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, retrieve. And here it comes down to the ground, just like that. And we're gonna reach down the ground and grab it. There it is right there, and a little hook as well with us. I'll we'll walk over to this section, uh, right where we just were, and I'll show you how it goes in here. It goes boom, just like that. Whoa, hello there. Come here, grab a little hook. The hook goes in right there. There we go. Uh, now we can open this little guy up here, and this is how we're gonna be able to talk to the pilot's upstairs, very cool. Um, come over this way, and we're gonna go into flight INT, and we need to actually just turn the unit on so they will know we are good to go uh, with everything. So power on, there we go. Now we can call them up, hit A again, and there we go. Cockpit from ground. Cockpit, go ahead. GPU connected. Roger, switching to GPU. Switching over to GPU, there you go. That's all you have to do for the connection part of it. Very, very cool. Look, I love the little, <laughs> it's so neat. Um, and I used to do the uh, communications with the pilots and stuff. So um, that stuff, they have their own way of doing the phraseology, but no, it's different for everybody. Um, open this up, next topic. The aircraft is connected to ground power source. Yes, it is. Now perform the disconnection operations. All right, disconnection uh, is gonna be, uh, talk to them first, cockpit from ground. Cockpit, go ahead. May we disconnect the GPU? Stand by, please. Switching to APU. We don't have the APU running. You would normally hear the APU, which is an auxiliary power unit, um, a Ground small little jet cockpit. engine in the tail. Yes, go ahead. You may disconnect the GPU. There we go. Roger disconnecting the GPU. We wouldn't say Roger, but we'd be like, all right, yeah, you, you get the idea behind it all, right? So we're done talking to them. We don't need to talk to them anymore. We pull this guy straight out, put you back in there. That's good. And we are uh, gonna shut this thing off before we even touch that so we don't get electrocuted to do something stupid. Um, so stop. There we go, back over to here. And we grab the little hook. You come out, pull you out like that. And we can even multitask by closing this guy. Nice and flush, you gotta make sure that's nice and straight, which it is. Sweet, just throw you on the ground for right now because man, I tell you what, I wish we had the ability to do this um, when we were operating uh, GPUs and AP or uh, air cards and stuff. So we need to do the uh, retract. Oh wait, nope, that's the PC air. What am I doing? This one here, retract, there you go. And up she goes, just like that. And once it's done retracting, we're pretty much done with this exam. And we'll see if we did good. All right, there we go. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's see how we did. Finish the exam. Yes, please. Exam is finished. Please 100%. check your results on the dashboard. How about that? Uh, back to the menu. 
Yes, please. All right, so this time we're gonna do a PCA, which is the uh, air unit. So start the exam here. Welcome to preconditioned air unit connection operation exam. Mm -hmm. Your task is to perform normal connecting and disconnecting operations of the PCA unit. You got it. Let's start with the connection. Let's start with the connection. So we need to come all the way back here um, and uh, and right here where this belly is, you'll see a little door. Open that guy up and about here. You need to inspect it for any damage. That looks good. It's so cool to have a room scale VR experience here. Um, all right, over this way. Now, dude, I'll tell you what, these things here, they are super heavy. So if we had a uh, retrieve option, I only wish, dude. That thing is so heavy. And uh, some of the airplanes I used to work on, um, one of them was a 727, the Boeing 727. And that airplane, you would connect the, the uh, air hose in the back and all the engines were in the back of the airplane. Um, and one night, that thing shot off when they were starting the engines. Um, it sounded like an explosion. That was absolutely scary. So there are, you know, there's a lot of danger working this job on the ramp. And uh, having a tool like this is so nice to help people learn. Are you in there? Can I grab you? Yes, we can. Okay, you're freaking out. Hold on there. Hold on there, shall we? Right there. There we go. I'm bringing you over this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop you in. Like this, and you turn. Whoop. And then, this is a little different than the ones that we used to do, but it goes in there and turn. Whoop, come on. No, you don't want to stay, do you? Nope. Kind of uh, difficult. Let me get. Oh, quit. Just stop it. Okay. Just stop it, okay? Oh. <laughs> we dropped it. Yeah, you see these notches right here? Kind of glitching out, but you can see the notches. They have to go up in here like this. Up in here like this, and then you spin it. So it's stays in there we go and then these guys get turned like that and that should be good to go all right over to here to the panel we can now start the unit itself we'll watch the air hose come to life just like that wonderful i think that's all we have to do for that section of it to open this up next topic the aircraft is connected to preconditioned air unit yes it is now perform the disconnection operations okay disconnection stop there we go so there won't be any more air coming in there you see the hose deflating and we made sure that there was no kinks in the hose or anything before we turned it on uh over here do the same thing we did before which is pull these guys this way and the whole unit pops off like that wonderful again multitask we did before close that you close yep nice and straight wonderful uh over to this way put you on the ground and we do a retrieve uh retract and that should be it i mean you see how simplified this panel actually is all right air hose is going all the way back up it's done and we are done too yes finish the exam, exam. Is finished hey look at that Please we got 100 results on the dashboard we'll take it so that was gse connection let's do some cargo door operations um, I have already done the 737 one because um, I knew it was 737. <laughs> A320 four door. I don't uh, think I've done the tutorial on that one, but let's just do the exam. How hard can it be? Welcome All right, to straight into doors an exam. exam. Your task is to perform normal opening and you closing got it, operations bud. of the forward cargo compartment. We door. will do that. Let's start with the opening. Well, hi down there. How you doing? Okay, so there you go. Um, I have actually operated A320 cargo doors before, so um, I know how this goes. Um, if you ever have a, any doubts of what you're doing, they always have the instructions right here on the side of the airplane. How nice of them to open, unlock door from by pulling. Yeah, well, you just go up here to this guy, you pull it, you push and pull, and it will pop back on you like that. So be ready for it so it doesn't smack you in the head. Um, and you can see here we have these little red indicators here, which means that it is unlocked. You want those to be green which shows that they are locked. So now that that's popped over, we can come over here to the panel and operate the cargo door itself. Now, uh, a lot of the airplanes that I used to work on, we didn't have these panels. So you had to do everything kind of manually. So up in here, you'll see we have a little light here and you see all that stuff with the switch. We have to press this light in. There we go. To make sure that works and open, or open it up. That's two actuators in there and you can hear the hydraulic pump running. Dude, the sounds in this, sim are so good like it really does sound like the real deal 
The door is open. Yes, it is. Now perform the closing operation. Okay. Once the operation is completed, press the finish exam button on your dashboard. All right. Before we close it, we make sure that all oh, that's put away, which it is. It all looks good there. Wonderful. Man, it's so good and detailed. <laughs> the vent door. All right, cool. Um, we got it carried away there with how amazing this is. All right, time to close it. The same thing in reverse. And wait for it to come to a complete stop and it will lock. There it goes. There we go. And we can let go of it. Wait for that to uh, go away. Sound of that pump. And uh, we'll close it up. There we go. And you push this thing in. You'll see how that changes to green right there. That's nice and flush. We have to visually inspect this. They don't like uh, you not inspecting these. So that's green. That's green. Do you see, game? It's green. That one's not fully green. That one is not fully green. That's weird. Is it not closed all the way? No, maybe it's just a visual glitch. I don't know. We checked it though. Those are all fully green. That one's kind of got some weirdness to it. Okay, whatever. Close you up. That's it. That's all you got to do. Let's see if they ding us for those green things. I don't know about that. Uh, finish the exam. Yes. Exam is hey, finished. we got 100%. Check your results on the dashboard. All right, we did it. Okay, so that's cargo door operations. Now you can do the 737 or the A320 bulk door. A little bit different. You have to like pull a little thing and spin it around, but we're not going to mess with that too much. Let's move on to pre-departure checks. So we can just do a full exam on this. Random issues, clear day or clear night. We're going to do clear day or quick challenge on this one. And let's just do the exam. Okay. Procedure exam. Here she is. The aircraft servicing is completed. Cargo loaded and the passengers are on board. Indeed. The pushback tractor is connected to the aircraft. But before pushback, you need to check that all requirements are met prior to aircraft movement. Yes, we do. Use your laser pointer to work with the dashboard and with the objects around you. To open your dashboard, direct yeah, the laser we know. pointer to your wrist gadget and press the trigger. Got it. You can close the dashboard and open it again at a new location with the help of your wrist gadget. Yeah, we know that. We know what Once we're doing. Once all required pre-departure checks are completed, press the finish exam button on your dashboard to see the exam results. You got it. All right, so GSE disconnection check. We need to identify any equipment which is left connected to the airplane itself, like that guy right there. That's a big no-no. Uh, steering bypass pin. We have to check to make sure that that is installed. Um, then the tug and tow bar connection check. To make sure the tug and tow bar are properly connected to the airplane. Uh, aircraft path and equipment restraint area check. Identify any equipment, objects, or obstacles in the aircraft path or inside equipment restraint area. So any FOD, any people like that dumb ass right there on his cell phone being a dummy um, is a no-no. So let's get started, shall we? Over this way, this is the A3 18, 19, 20, 21 tow bar. So looks like they have the right tow bar connected over here, which is the 737 one. I used to operate these, actually, uh, the pushback. And man, look how detailed that thing is in there. A little closer to it. A little closer to it. Oh, that's a that's a beautiful pushback, man. Ours, ours were never that nice. Um, 737, that's installed. Wheels are up, as they should be. Pin is installed. Um, we're looking for the bypass pin. Bypass pin is installed. Removed before flight, all that. That's good to go. That's down. And that's got the little, dude, they even have the little piece there modeled. You see that little piece of wire, like a chicken wire thing? <laughs> so, so it doesn't fall out, you know? But that is so detailed, that's so cool. Issues found there, uh, that is hail damage. Hail damage, no bueno. That's, that's bad. Uh, that should not be on there. That's an issue. They need to pull any remove before flight tags like that. That thing's there being a piece of crap. Let's move over this way. Anything underneath the airplane? I don't see that. Let's go around this way and we'll uh, we'll do a full inspection and FOD walk and all that. So we also want to look and make sure that the lights are good. Um, and also if there's any sky draw, hydraulic fluid, anything leaking from the airplane. Um, there's another one there. Look at that. What are they doing? Maintenance. What are you doing? All right. This way. Doors closed. Looks good. Over here. Light looks good. That looks good. 
That looks like some damage there. I don't like that. Uh, fan blades are good there. Um, over here, we're looking good. Now it's designed to, you know, to, to test you. That's why we're doing an exam, so. Airplane with this many issues. Oh my God, there's Skydraw. Uh, with this many issues would be a no-go. Like this airplane would be grounded. All right, looking good here. Go out to the edge. We're looking for any FOD on the ground that might be walking. We're gonna talk to that dude, don't you? He's getting fired today, actually. Um, oh, that looks good. Awesome. And just look at the detail on these tires and wheels. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. I see no scuffs or damage to the tires. Those are good. That's all connected and it looks really nice. That whole piece there. Um, I think, is that a separate thing that you can, oh, it's a whole piece there. So if that was broken or had any damage to it, you can actually highlight that. Um, okay, over here, look at this, and look at this wheel bay here. This is so realistic. I don't know if you've ever, like, for those of you that have been in one of these before and know what it's like, this is it. I mean, this is a little more bare bones here, but it's it just blows me away how realistic this is. Okay, so that's good. Um, let's walk out this way and look over this way. That's all good. The chalks are there, that's fine. They're, they're, you can't even select them. They're gonna remove them, they're not dummies. This is all pre-departure check. Uh, that door is, is supposed to be open, that's fine. All this is good. Uh, we're gonna check back here. We'll do one final FOD check once we're done, because sometimes whenever you're looking at the airplane, you're looking at the ground, looking at the airplane, looking at the ground, you'll get kind of uh, disoriented. So uh, that is something to keep an eye on. What is that? Is that any damage up there? No, I think that's just normal, normal wear and tear. Uh, here's the uh, tail strike guy right here. Now, if that was in all the way and you would see like black on it, that would be bad. So it hasn't been, hasn't been through a tail strike, which is nice, right? Oh, we were talking about an APU earlier. That is what it looks like right there. That's in the tail of 7.3. Same thing with the uh, A320, wherever he may be, um, and, and the other airplanes. But it's a little mini jet engine that's back there, and, and you can see uh, the exhaust outlet there. That looks good. That looks good. This guy's getting fired. You getting fired today, dude. You are, you are. Anything around here on the ground in the vicinity? Dude, hey. Yeah, we need to have a talk. Um... Yeah, so about you being on the phone, that's a no-go, okay? Uh, hand me your badge. You are fired. You are fired. You're a worker. You can't be on your phone out here. You're an idiot. You're not paying attention lately. Just here, give me that and give me your badge. You're, you're done, dude. Bam. Fired. <laughs> all right, over here. Uh, let's check all this stuff over here. Fine, fine. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. There, sometimes there will be a move before flight thing here. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. Back around this way. I don't see any sky draw falling on our heads on this side of the airplane either. All right, cool. And like I said, we'll do a final FOD check just to make sure. Um, what about this guy? Fan blades look good. The, yep, that looks good. There's nothing in there that looks out of ordinary. And uh, wonderful. Let's move around this way. And now we're gonna do our uh, our inspection of the ground uh, to make sure that that is good to go. Because sometimes they like to throw a little bit of trinkets at you right around this spot. So let me go do my FOD walk all the way down there. I'm gonna make you sit through that. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll get out of here. I really wish you could see the uh, scale uh, that VR gives you. It's just amazing. It feels like I'm actually out here on this ramp searching for garbage on the ground and it looks pretty darn good like i'm not seeing a whole lot here that would tell me uh we are not going um that we're going to tell them about the damage the hail damage and things you know around the engine uh that's up to the flight crew and maintenance of what they're going to do with that but uh for the most part i'm pretty happy with this ramp this all looks good to me that's in its spot technically could be back a little further but that's all right yeah, I'm not seeing anything on the ground. Okay, well, there you go. I think I'm happy with the whole ramp. They're ready to push out. They've got the bypass pin installed and all that stuff. All good to go. And we did our FOD check. Let's hit finish exam and see what we ended up with. The exam is finished. 70%. Check your results on the dashboard. Wow. You can restart the exam what did we miss? To the main menu and repeat the training. Uh, tug and tow bar connection check. Yep, no issues reported there. Uh, Dolly with ULD inside ERA. See, I told you. I was 
it's just barely there. I didn't know if that was a visual thing or whatnot, but I'm like, that was something we're not supposed, you're not allowed to do. I didn't know that was even a thing you could even check for, so good to know that, right? Um, what else did we not miss? No FOD found. Nose cone, left wing leading edge damaged. What? That's damaged? Static wicks? Oh, the static wicks are gone on that. Wow. I didn't know that was in the game either. Yeah, see the static wicks out here? Right there, the little uh, orange guys on the end. Okay, well, I mean, they are correct about that. Um, and the right wing, the left wing leading edge was damaged. Okay, so let's see what they say here. That is damaged. Oh, yeah, because it hit the hail. You're correct. You are correct. Okay. I mean, other than that, I'm. It's not too bad. Uh, but that's the gist of it. You know, it's a simulation of uh, being out here at the airport. Well, let's. We can just go walk around and explore a little bit. I haven't done a whole lot of that. Got a car coming from both sides. Um, but very, very cool sim. Um, I was very excited to see it. Now, unfortunately, the devs have gone completely silent. Oh, we can't go that. We can't go that far outside of our zone. Dang. Um, they've been completely silent uh, and haven't put any updates out. And that's kind of a red flag to me. Because this could be awesome if they add more scenarios, more things to do. There's a lot to um, handling airplanes. And uh, this does a good job of really making you feel like you are out here on the ramp with airplanes. Highly recommend it for that reason alone if you are a VR nut. But uh, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. You know what? We missed that ULD and some stupid stuff that would have been caught by the flight crew. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, but that'll do it for this episode. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.